This is a British gas heating controller, model UP2, and it's supposed to turn the heating on. So when I push the heating advance, the LED comes on and it throws a relay. So I push it. The light went on, but the relay didn't click. The thermostat is tripped because that little flame lights on. So the thermostat thinks it's turning the heating to heat. Back in the airing cupboard, this is the wireless receiver and that green light means that it's trying to heat. So it should be running the pump if the heating was on. But I'll turn the heating on, nothing works. This is the pump, the pump is off. Right, the magic way to get it to work, if I tap it, Look, the heating's come on. I'll switch the power off and there are screws underneath here that you undo them and the whole thing lifts off its mount. The way to get this apart is to push these little clips there's one, there's the next one, and the next one, and the back just comes off. Ah, there's another clip. I always forget one. I'm going to take this board out. So there are these little clips which hold the circuit board in. There, that's the circuit board. The problem is this capacitor. So this is the 0.22 microfarad, 275 volt. And the mains comes in, it charge pumps through this capacitor, which drops the voltage. It's rectified by these four diodes and the voltage is stored on this capacitor. So you have plus volts one end and zero volts at the other end. And that voltage is used to drive these two relays. Now, in my case, what's happened is the capacitor has lost some capacitances over the time. So it's passing less voltage. So I've got less voltage stored on this capacitor. So when I try and fire the relays, there's not enough current to fully trigger the relay. So when I tap the relay, the extra shock will make it engage. Just to prove a point, I want to record the voltage across that cap before and after I change the capacitor. So I'm going to power it up, which really I shouldn't do because when you put power on it, there's no mains isolation so the whole lot becomes live so you've got to be really careful so let me just measure the voltage across that smoothing cap ten point three volts across the um, capacitor so I will change that charge pump and let's see what difference it makes I bought some of these caps off eBay. So a nice little packet. They are 275 volt AC, 0 0.22 microfarad. So I'll just cut this capacitor out. I'm not going to desolder it because I want to use the lugs. So I take my new capacitor, just bend the pins out. Cut the legs to the right length. And now I will tin the legs.
and tin the leads of the old cap. And then solder the new cap in. There, proper job. 14.2. That's much better. I'll power it up and see if this works. Yeah. I'm now advancing the central heating and I can hear the relay clicking, which is excellent. That's the hot water advance. And that is the um, heating advance. Good. Let's put it back together and see if it works. Back to the airing cupboard. At the moment, the pump is off. The thermostat says I'm cold. Please turn the heating on. At the moment, the heating isn't on because it's on a timer and it's not time for the heating to come on. So I'm going to push the advance and the LED should come on and that pump should come on. Yay. Fixed. Just as a point to note, this is the original heating controller that came with my central heating. It broke with that fault, so the heating wasn't coming on and we were all getting cold until I realised I could tap it and get the heating to come on. So I went on eBay and I bought another one which worked fine for about a year and then it broke with exactly the same problem. So I recently went on eBay and I bought a third one and that came pre-broken. So I have now fixed all three of these ones. So all three of these heating controllers work perfectly well. And I have full working heating. Now Jack Russell has buried his ball behind the tank and he can't get it out. <laughs> 